this is Heather Hoffman and I'm here today to share a really simple and neutral card today with a fun little trick for making a perfect bow on the front of your card. I'm using the December 2019 kit of the month and the solid heart image in one of the sentiments. I'm keeping my colors really neutral and soft on this. So I'm starting with a panel of white cardstock that I've trimmed down a little smaller than an A2 card front. And I'm gonna just stamp that heart and that sentiment, kind of center them on that panel. And I'm gonna stamp them with black pigment ink. I'm using my favorite uh, VersaFine Onyx Black um, just to get a nice dark black um, image on both of those. And I'm double stamping using my Misty to keep everything perfectly lined up so I can get lots of ink on there. And in case you didn't know, pigment ink is kind of fun because it also works as an embossing ink. So I'm pulling out some Wow Clear Sparkle Embossing Powder, and I'm gonna sprinkle this over the top, and this is gonna add a nice sparkly finish over the top. Um, and because this is a pigment ink, that's why this embossing powder will stick to that and make this image embossable as well. If you don't have a black pigment ink, you could stamp in normal ink and then using your Misty clean off your stamp and then re-stamp over the top with embossing ink and get a very similar effect. I just think it's an extra, it softens that black just a little bit um, and adds a little bit of sparkle. So it's just, just a little something extra on that image. All right, now we're gonna move on to adding the bow and I'm using uh, the white sheer ribbon that I got from Unity Stamp Company and I'm gonna, as you can kind of see, just kind of create a loop about the size of that um, front. But before I do that, I'm gonna, this is the scary part, I'm gonna punch a hole right in the middle of that heart where I want that bow to be. And I'm cutting a small little section off and I'm threading that through that little hole. And then I'm gonna thread it back through that same opening once I've got it smooth in there. And I'm gonna leave a loop sticking out on the front. Kind of see how that is. Then I'm gonna loop around um, for the extensions of the bow around my finger, just kind of get it to the width that I'd like. And then I'm gonna feed that through that loop. Like you can see there, getting it through there and even. Then I'm gonna grab the ends of that loop in the back and pull those tight all the way through. And what this is gonna do is create the center of that bow and it's gonna be perfectly aligned where I want it, perfectly smooth. And it's just, it's kind of a fun cheater, quick way to get a perfect bow, um, especially to place it where you want. So I tie it in a knot in the back, tape it in place and trim off the extra. And then I can kind of fiddle with that bow. Um, I usually feed the ends down so they're both coming out of the bottom and I can kind of um, play with it and adjust it and trim those ends down a little bit. It's a super fun, I've done this with twine as well, but this is the first time I actually have tried it with the sheer ribbon and I really love how it worked and came out. So now I'm gonna add some foam adhesive on the back of that and then I'll adhere it to an off-white, um, kind of a cream colored card base. And this is enough of a neutral um, that it still keeps that overall soft tone of the card, but it also lets it pop um, the, between the white and the ivory. It's just um, a contrast in the neutrals that I love to pair together like that. All right, and then after this video finished, I did add a few um, Nouveau sparkly jewels. It just felt like it needed one little tiny, tiny extra touch. So I popped a few of those on there uh, right at the end, but super fun, super simple, nice and neutral and a fun trick for an easy bow. Thanks so much for coming by today. Have a wonderful day.